What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create lower thirds in Photoshop. Now just before I get into this video, yes I have made this tutorial before, however people have been commenting multiple times telling me to make an updated version, so this is it right now. With that being said, if you like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So the first thing, when you open up Photoshop, you need to choose the right width and the right height for your video. So for me, I render in 1080, so my width will be 920 by 1080. But for some people, if you render in 720, then you would keep it as this. Now with lower thirds, if you don't know what they are, it's what you saw at the start at the bottom left corner where I showed my Twitter and my Snapchat and throughout the video you'll see a like and a subscribe lower third. Now the first thing to do is come over to shapes. As you can see, we have these shapes here. Now this isn't all the shapes we get. If you come to custom shape tool, then you come over here, as you can see, we get all of these. If you don't see everything, then come to the settings button. As you can see, these are the different things you can get from here. The main ones you probably want to use is shapes and symbols, but of course you can check around for anything else. Now I'm going to be using this diamond here and all I'm going to do is have a black fill with no stroke. We're going to sort out all the colors after. So I'm going to hold shift and drag out this diamond and then I'm going to position this at the bottom left like so. The next thing I'm going to create a new layer by pressing this button and then I'm going to come back to the shapes but this time I'm going to add on a rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to change this color to red and I know this is going to look really hideous right now but it's just so we can see the colors more clearly. So I'm going to drag out and I'm going to make it in the middle here as you can see that purple line that comes up or pink line I'm gonna make it on that and I'm also going to line this up right there and I'm gonna put this below the diamond as you can see if I zoom in by pressing alt and using my mouse wheel we have this gap here we don't want that so I want to press the left arrow key on my keyboard to bring this back like that as you can see we now have a more smoother line I'm then going to come over to the properties button which is right here. If you don't see it, simply come to window and make sure properties has a check next to it, that way you'll be able to see it. And from here, I'm going to uncheck this button and I'm going to make the top right have this corner fade like that. And then the bottom right is going to be a sharp one like this. Now as you can see, we're starting to see that pink again, so we're going to bring up the top left. As you can see, that'll sort out the problem as well. So I'm just going to zoom in, it's still got a little bit there. And there we go, that's what we want. The next thing I'm going to do is actually duplicate this one we have just created. By pressing Ctrl J on my keyboard, we now have two. The next thing I'm going to do is press Ctrl T, and then I'm going to hold Shift and Alt, and I'm simply going to flip it upside down. Then I'm going to drag this to the bottom while keeping it on line. Just like that. Now, as you can see, we already have a problem. It doesn't reach the bottom like this. There we go. And we have this gap here. We're going to be fixing that as well. The first thing though, we need to fix this bottom corner. So again, properties, and we're going to bring it up just a tiny bit. Then we're going to press Ctrl T and we're going to bring this up just a little bit. And then we're going to do the same to the other layer, Ctrl T and just join it together like that. So now we have that. And of course the duplicated one, which is the bottom one here, I'm going to change the color of it just so we can see the color much easier. So to do that, come over to properties, change the color, and I'll just pick a cyan for now. So this is the basic of what we have. And for those that haven't guessed just yet, in this diamond here, I'm going to have a social media icon or maybe some symbol. And then here is going to be some text and at the bottom is going to be some more text. I'm actually going to add the text in right now and I'm just going to drag this here. And this one, for example, I'm going to make a Twitter one. So this is going to say, follow me on Twitter. And of course we need to size this down so it fits in. And I'm going to position this around the center and I'm going to make the text white. So that is what we have so far. The next thing I'm going to do is press Control J to duplicate the text. And I'm going to drag this down to the bottom. This time I'm going to put my Twitter app, which is casual savage. And of course we can size this up because there's less text. And there we go. That's how I'm going to have this and I'm going to position this around here. I'm then going to actually make the bottom part here smaller, this blue area. So it's this one here, I'm going to press Ctrl T, make it smaller like this and press enter and then just position the text in the center of this area. Like that, so that's what we've got so far. The next thing, of course, we need a Twitter icon right here. So we're going to go to Google and get that. So go to Google, type in Twitter logo PNG. 
then just select the first one or whichever one you may like. I'm gonna select this one here. Right click, save image as, or you can just come to copy image and then just simply control V and it pastes in like so. Now we still have the background on it. To get rid of it, we're gonna come to the magic wand tool up here. Left click the background so it's all selected like that and simply press delete on your keyboard to remove it. Then press control D to deselect it. And we're simply gonna position this in that box we just created. Now, one thing you can also do, since we have a diamond and it's literally a square on the side, if we press control T and then we hold shift, we can tilt this to match the box. So then it looks a bit more stylized like that. As you can see, we can also have the logo looking bigger if you want it. And it's completely optional if you want it like this. Uh, I think I'll probably go back to normal, I don't like it, but that's just something you can do. Now the next thing I'm going to do for this bottom one and the diamond box, I want them to be in a gradient blue, simply because this is for Twitter. So I'm going to come here and select it, and then I'm going to come to the effects button and select gradient overlay. This is what you're going to get, all you need to do is select the gradient, and this is something you're going to be creating but with blues, or whatever colour you may choose. So starting from fresh, for the first one I'm going to double click it and I'm going to start with a darker shade of blue. Then I'm going to press this here and I'm press Control C, OK and I'm going to double click here. Then we're going to make it lighter just by bringing this bar down just a bit, like that. Then I'm going to press Control C on this number and then OK. We're going to come across, we're going to paste that number in here and we're going to come down a little bit more to become, so it becomes lighter. Then we're going to do the exact same thing again, double click and this time make it light again. Then I'm going to spread this out so this one is going to be positioned at location 100. This one here is going to be at 70 and this one here is going to be at 30. Now it doesn't look the best just yet, what we're going to do is reverse it so it's darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. Then I'm also going to add a stroke and I won't have 6 because as you can see it looks pretty big. I'll add 3, I'm going to select OK. Then I'm going to press right click, copy layer style. Now for this shape, which is known as shape 1, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select paste layer style. As you can see it gives us that same effect and it looks much better. Now the Twitter icon, it's already blue, it's pretty difficult to see. What we can do, it's right here called layer 1. We're going to come to the color overlay and we can make it white. As you can see just like that and then of course add a stroke. And it's just done like that. Now this top bar is pretty boring so we're going to also add a colour overlay to this. This time I'm going to go with a white and I'm also going to add a stroke just so we can see the box itself. Then for the follow me on Twitter we need to change the colour because we can't see it and I'm going to pick a black. And just like that it is done. Now if we zoom in you can see that this box is taken over the other box. So we're going to fix that now. All we need to do is come here press Control T and it looks pretty good but we need to bring this up like that press enter and now it's all sorted out and that is your lower third completed now what we need to do is come here and remove this background so left click this padlock and delete that layer so it has a checkered background then you need to come to file save as and then you can call this one saving as a photoshop file first twitter lt lt stands for lower third and then select save then we need to come back to file save as again. This time we're going to save the type as a PNG and we can call this Twitter LT yet again. Save and OK. So as you can see I just have a random video up here and I have the lower third in my project. I'm going to drag and drop this above the video and of course this can be at any point in the video but I'm just going to drag it near the start. Now what we can do is come over to transitions. If you don't see it simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. From transitions, you can literally pick any effects you want. Now I get loads of questions, what is the transition I use? Now it is, it does require a paid plugin and it is Sapphire plugins and the one I use is S underscore wipe diffuse. Now by default you're only going to have default. I created out myself, as you can see the difference is this one comes in from the left, this one comes in from the right so it removes it. So if I drag and drop this at the start, we get this. Then you choose how long you want this to last. Usually I keep mine at default and keep it at one second. So if I just turn this down to good and auto and play this through now. That is what we're going to get. And it is that simple to do. And then simply because I had my out one, I can just drag and drop this down at the end. 
and then if we keep this on the screen for a bit it's gonna go back that way and if you want to know how to create that these are the settings right here drag on the default create these settings here and then where it says preset come here and just call it out press the save preset button and then it'll be here permanently but that is how easy it is to create a lower third in Photoshop and create a transition with it in Sony Vegas or any of your editors. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.